Hi everyone! Welcome to Ali's English Boost. This is the place where you learn fun and practical English to sound more natural and confident. Today, we're talking about slang. You've probably heard words like "what the heck" or "dang," right? These are super common in English, but sometimes slang can sound too strong or a little rude. Oops! Don't worry. I'll show you softer, friendlier words you can use instead. These are perfect for learners because they are simple, fun, and still sound natural. First up, let's start with a funny one: fork. Native speakers sometimes say "f word" when they're angry or frustrated, but that's a really strong word. Instead, say "fork." For example, "Oh, fork! I spilled my tea." What the fork is happening here? It sounds almost the same, so people will understand what you mean. And the best part? It's playful, not rude. Next, let's talk about shoot. This is a great substitute first word, which is another strong word. You can use shoot to show frustration. For example, shoot! I forgot my homework. Oh shoot! I locked my keys in the car. It's super common and totally polite, so you can use it anywhere. Now here's one you'll hear a lot: heck. Instead of saying "what the hell," which can sound too strong, you can say "what the heck." Here are some examples: What the heck is going on? Heck, I can't believe it's raining again. It's softer, but it still shows your surprise or frustration. Plus, it's fun to say. Another great one is "dang." Sometimes people say "damn," but "dang" is a softer and more friendly version. For example, "dang, that's a beautiful sunset," or "I forgot to send the email." It's a small change, but it makes a big difference. You can use "dang" with friends, teachers, or anyone. Now this one is just fun. Son of a biscuit. Instead of saying "son of a," you know the rest. You can say "son of a biscuit." For example. Son of a biscuit, I dropped my phone. Or son of a biscuit, that scared me. It's so silly that it makes people laugh, and it's totally harmless. And here's one for texting. Many people use WTF when they're shocked, but instead try these: What the fluff or What the frog? These are funny, creative, and keep things light. You can even make up your own version. Here's a quick tip. When you're learning slang, don't worry about memorizing everything at once. Start with one or two words and practice them in your daily life. For example, if you drop something, try saying "shoot" instead of your usual reaction. Or when you're surprised, say "what the heck." Slang makes your English sound more natural. But remember, it's okay to have fun while you're learning. That's it for today on Ali's English Boost. Which of these slang words will you try first? Or is there a slang word you're confused about? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.